everyone, this is Diane Duran, and I'm excited to welcome you to the introduction of our new online series titled The Electric Scribe. The Electric Scribe is about being able to provide graphic facilitation, graphic recording, or facilitation skills in the online environment. And the way that I stumbled upon this is for years I've been a graphic facilitator and graphic recorder, but I had to figure out how could I be billable without getting on a plane all the time. So this is a little bit of my work. This is what it looks like electronically on an iPad. This is me at the desk doing a little drawing. Here I am at home doing some painting, and this is my very first iPad artwork. And the reason I'm showing you all this is because I also want to show you what it looks like when I do electronic scribing. And these are just some of the notes that I've taken for our advanced class, That Creative Space. And as you can see, the tone, the style, the color palette all still comes through. The electric scribe is really just about adding new tools to your toolkit. I know there are a lot of questions about what are the tools and the software and the technology that you're going to need to become an electronic scribe. So I'm going to give you a quick little tour today of what it looks like. So when I attend an event, I take an external monitor. I also have my laptop with me. And then this is a tablet. And I'm going to review all the types of tablets there are to let you know some of the pros and cons of all of them. This is a Wacom tablet, and then this is the stylus. And this is the tool that I use whenever I'm doing my drawing. And then it's taken through the cable and through the external monitor, and it appears on the second monitor. And this is how it looks when the event is going on. I still have a clear line of sight of the speaker. My work can be projected behind the presenter, and I still have the external monitor as well as my laptop and then I'm drawing off to the right and it's all being projected in real time. What I love about the electric scribe is that it really adds another tool to my toolkit of the different skills that I can provide to my clients. And so as a graphic facilitator recorder, before I typically did things in person. So I would tape things on the wall or I would take a piece of foam core and put it on an easel. Or if I wanted to be super fancy, I'd take two pieces of foam core on an easel or come up with a screen where I tape things together to make the work very large for the client. With the Electric Scribe, I've now added two new things to my toolkit. Not only can I do this online, but I can also do it in person. And it, it changes the dynamic of how my work is projected and presented and archived for an event. So now I want to give you a little tour of my desk. So this is my desk at Alpha Gym. I have my external monitor here and it's a little bit larger than the one you saw before and it's been mounted to the table and then I have my laptop that I have up on a riser and I'll show you a little bit more about what this looks like. You can buy different kinds of things to elevate your laptop. Sometimes we've even used um, a stack of books. And then here's the Raycom tablet. Now I keep it it's centered in front of me. And then here's the stylist. And then there's typically a headset that I use that will allow me to be able to hear and listen the conversation clearly whenever I'm doing electric scribe. So let's zoom in a little bit closer. So here's the monitor again, the laptop, the tablet, and the stylus. And these are the simple tools that you're going to need, but there's also software and other things, and I'm going to go into that in the next part of this series where I dive more into the tools. I'm looking forward to having you as part of this series, and I definitely want to hear all of your feedback and insights as we begin to create this series on the Electric Scribe. Thanks!